Hey guys, Hamster Will here with a new video and welcome to episode 14 of Gearing for Dungeoneering. Today we're going to revisit the Shaman and after having covered Elemental and Enhancement, there's only one spec left to talk about and that is Restoration. So without further ado, let's get started. So as of right now, this Restoration Shaman has worked its way to max level with some Elemental gear. But of course now that we want to heal in dungeons, this gear kind of falls short as it lacks a good amount of bonus healing and MP5. And like the Healing Priest and the Restoration Druid, we're going to see what healing this Shaman can do as of right now. So currently, Lesser Healing Wave does an average of 1440 healing, Healing Wave does an average of 3100 healing, and Arcane Heal does an average of 1700 healing. So yeah, lots of room for improvement, but we'll get to that right now. So, as always, let's work our magic, and there we go. That's much better. Okay, let's check out what gear we chose for our Restoration Shaman. Starting off with the headpiece, the metallic headband of Sim Ons, or whatever you pronounce that. 45 stamina, 68 healing done, 23 damage, and 12 MP5. Pretty damn good headpiece for a Shaman. It's also male, so it's purpose-built. Lots of healing, lots of MP5. Can't really go wrong with this, that's what I chose for the headpiece. Next up the necklace, which is a bit of a staple for the healing classes, and for this one as well. The Sethic Oracle's Focus, 19 Intellect, 35 Healing done, 12 Damage done, and 8 MP5. And unlike the Restoration Druid and the Healing Priest, that MP5 is really really juicy, so we're loving that. Great, absolutely great necklace. On par what you can get out of Heroics in terms of blue necklaces. So definitely a great item for you to choose, so that's what I recommend for the necklace. The shoulders are going to be the Rocket Chief Pauldrons, 16 stamina, 16 intellect, 33 damage and healing. Unfortunately, when it comes to leather healing shoulders or male healing shoulders, there's really just not a whole lot in the game. Which is once again why I had to resort to damage and healing shoulders, as opposed to purpose-built healing shoulders. There's just barely any choice out there. So I had to go with this. But still, if you take away the damage, it's still 33 healing. A little bit of stamina, a little bit of intellect. Would be nice if it had maybe some MP5 or whatever. But you can't have it all, especially at this gear level. So this will do for now. Onto the cloak. Also a familiar item. The Diviner's Cloak. 50 intellect, 13 stamina, 35 healing, 12 damage, and 5 MP5. So once again, an MP5. Really, really nice for us Restoration Shamans. Not as good for the Healing Priest Restoration Druid. But now though, we're loving it, so that is a really really good cloak for your shaman to have. Also not super hard to get, so I would definitely advise this for your restoration shaman. Onto the chest piece, which is going to be the Void Slayer's Tunic. 21 intellect, 31 stamina, 88 healing done, 30 damage done, and 8 MP5. So this is an absolutely wonderful chest piece for shamans. A fair amount of intellect, fair amount of stamina, a lot of healing, looking at 88 healing on a mill chest piece and 30 damage and then 8 mp5 it's also not super hard to get this is part of the dementias the all devouring quest chain which is pretty short it does require a few people but all in all fairly easy to get it's one of the quest chains that a lot of people do so you won't have a whole lot of trouble finding people for it and just look what you get it is amazing up next are the bracers which is going to be the golden vine wraps 19 stamina 13 intellect 13 spirit 29 healing and 10 damage on again these are cloths so definitely not ideal but out of the things I could find, these were definitely the best when it comes to raw healing, which is why I chose them. And, you know, Spirit, again, is not optimal for Restoration Shaman. You'd much rather have MP5. But still, you know, you can't have it all at this gear level, and it's still a pretty damn good item with that fair amount of intellect, stamina, and a good amount of healing. So I'd still, despite them being cloth, would recommend them for a Restoration Shaman. Okay, we're going to move on to the weapons, and there are going to be some familiar items in here with one extra... And we're going to start off with the Staff of the Redeemer, 45 Intellect, 27 Stamina, 194 Healing done, 65 Damage done, and 10 MP5. So once again, a lot of MP5, really good for Restoration Shamans. Yes, it is suboptimal, because ideally you'd like to have a one-hander and a shield, that we'll get to that a little later. But again, you're a Restoration Shaman in Dungeons. If it was PvP, then I understand you want to have a lot of armor. But for dungeons, usually you're not getting really hit by any melee attacks, unless the tank is doing something wrong, or maybe you're overhealing like crazy. Usually you're not getting hit, so armor is not the most important stat. You'd much rather just have a really good stat with a ton of healing to keep people alive, and this will definitely do the job. So there you go, that is the first recommendation. But like I said before, it's part of the Cypher of Damnation quest chain, so let's go to our first alternative. Okay, so our first alternative is going to be a combination we've seen before. 
Starting off with the Azure Light Blade, 12 Spirit, 13 Intellect, 18 Stamina, 143 Healing, and 48 Damage done. Again, what else is there to say? It's a really good dagger, it's pretty easy to get, it also looks quite cool with that glowing animation, and it offers a fair amount of healing for a dagger. So there you go, and I would combine that with the Unearth Orb, also a familiar item for the healers. 13 Intellect, 29 Healing, 10 Damage, and 5 MP5. Again, ideally you want to go with a shield, we'll get to that a little later. But again, you're doing dungeons, armor is not the most important thing. So even with a combination like this, having a dagger and then just a simple held and offhand item, it's still going to be just fine in terms of healing. Now, of course, if we're going to mention the dagger, we're also going to have to mention the Essence Focuser, which is a very important item, also very good, because it has 227 healing, 76 damage done, and 11 MP5. So while it was pretty good for the Restoration Druid and Healing Priest, it's even better for the Shaolin because, again, it has 11 MP5. That's really juicy. That's really what we want. So this is an amazing, amazing main hand. And if it's cheap on the Auction House, I absolutely recommend you guys to pick it up. It is just too good to skip if it's on there for a bargain. And if it's possible, you can combine that with another BOE item. And that is the Crystal Pulse Shield, which has 24 intellect, 35 healing done, 12 damage, and 6 mana every 5 seconds. Now this combination would give you 262 healing and 88 damage over the Essence Focuser and the Orb, which would give you 256 healing and 86 damage. So a little bit more. However, as you can see, this is an actual shield, so you really want this. It offers you a lot of armor. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen either Freshly Dinked, Holy Paladins, or Restoration Shamans rolling around with this combo. And for a good reason. They're both high-level blue items, so they're really good. And they offer a ton of healing, a good amount of MP5, and a bit of intellect. It's just an amazing combo. So if you can pick up these two for pretty cheap... I definitely advise you to do it. It's going to be a little bit of an investment, but it just offers a ton of healing. So that's what I would go for, for the Shaman. Okay, moving on to the Totem. We got the Totem of the Plains, which is a really nice Totem, actually. Again, it's really hard to find purpose-built Totems because there's just barely anything out there in the game that you can get through Quest or fairly easy. But fortunately, for Resto Shamans, they do get a break and they get this, which increases their healing done by Lesser Healing Wave up to 79. So that is really nice. Lesser Healing Wave is not your most used spell. It's probably going to be Chain Heal the most of the time. But still, you know, Lesser Healing Wave is really nice if you got to, like, push out a lot of healing very quickly if you want to spam heal someone. And this totem definitely helps with that. So that's what I recommend in terms of the totem. Now we're going to move on to the trinkets, which are also going to be familiar. Starting off with the Oshigun Relic. 53 passive healing done, 18 passive damage done, and when you use it, you get 213 healing and 71 damage. So passive healing is also really, really good for shamans, probably the most important stat, and then I think below that is either MP5 or Spell Haste, and unfortunately Spell Haste is really out of the question as of right now, can't really uh, get that until later on in the game or at a higher level, so for now we're going to have to deal with zero Spell Haste, but still, I mean, this item right here, it offers a lot of passive healing in that use, pretty darn nice so i've used this before and for a good reason it's just a really good trinket it is super easy to pick up so that's what i recommend for the first one and the second one is also going to be very familiar the heavenly inspiration which when you use it you get 238 healing done 79 damage done and it has 10 mp5 as a passive so the 10 mp5 once again really really nice for restoration shamans awesome to have so that's really good and the use is also pretty damn nice 238 healing Amazing in tricky situations, so those are the two trinkets I recommend. Moving on to the rings. Now the rings are going to be slightly different, because normally I'd go for the Heirloom Signet of Convalescence, which you've seen before. However, for the rest of Shaman, I've decided to go with this one, because, well, you can see right here, it has 12 Intellect, 12 Spirit, 29 Healing Done, 10 Damage Done, and 5 MP5. So it has a little bit less Healing Done, but it has MP5. So I decided to go for this one. It is a really good ring, pretty easy to get. So that's what I recommend for you for your first ring. And then the second ring is going to be a familiar one. The Celestial Jewel Ring. 13 Intellect, 55 Healing Done, 19 Damage Done, and 4 MP5. Once again, MP5. Yeah, we have a lot of MP5 gear. That's really good for our Shaman. I'm just loving it. We're just, we're just bathing in MP5 right now. And of course, a lot of healing onto the ring. And a fair amount of Intellect. So you can't go wrong with this. Another amazing choice for your Restoration Shaman. Moving on to the boots, which are the Auchenai or Akanai boots. 25 stamina, 25 intellect, 2 red sockets, a socket bonus of 3 spell crit rating, and 10 mana every 5 seconds. Now, what I did here is just slap some red healing gems in there, as I always do, because 
Healing done is, again, one of the most important stats for Restoration Shaman to have. And we actually get that little spell crit rating, which, you know, is a nice little bonus. We don't need it super hard, but it's still nice. And just look at this. We get a fair amount of stamina, a fair amount of intellect, a good amount of healing because we use those two healing gems, and 10 mana every 5 seconds. That is pretty huge on boots, so definitely worth your time. Not super hard to get, and it's a pretty nice item to have, if I say so myself. Moving on to the legs, we're going to go with Haramat's Linked Chain Pantaloons, which don't offer any primary stats, but what they do offer is 3 sockets, a socket bonus of 4 intellect, 10 spell crit rating, 34 damage and healing, and 12 MP5. Again, a lot of MP5, which is really good. And it has 3 sockets, so like I did with the boots and previous items in this uh, series, I just slapped some healing gems in there, and in total, this item now gives us 73 extra healing done. And 49 damage done. So on paper they look very elemental-ish. But because we just slapped some healing gems in there. It offers a lot of healing. A lot of MP5. And a little bit of spell crit never really hurts anyone. So I definitely recommend these. They're not too hard to pick up. So there we go. That's what I recommend for the legs for your restoration shaman. Moving on to the belt. The Tarn Mill Defenders Kinch. 19 stamina, 18 intellect. 2 red sockets, a socket bonus of 3 intellect and 12 mp5. So it kind of follows the same format as the boots, where it has a couple of primary stats, 2 socket bonuses and no healing but a lot of mp5. And because it has 2 sockets, you get to slap some red healing gems in there and still pull out 26 healing, 10 damage and 12 mp5 on a blue belt. So still worth your time if I say so myself. It's also not too hard to pick up and it's got that tasty blue color. So there you go, that's what I recommend for the belt. And then last but not least, the gloves, we're going to go with the Cryo Mitts, the same ones I used for the Druid Guide. And that's basically because they're really good. They have 22 Intellect, 16 Spirit, 57 Healing Done, and 19 Damage Done. So these have Spirit, which is not really that great for any Restoration Shamans. You much rather have MP5 or some other stat. But again, you can't have it all at this gear level. And if you would take away the Spirit, let's, let's say it has no Spirit at all, you'd still have 22 Intellect and 57 Healing Done. That 57 Healing Done is the main reason why I chose these. They offer a lot of extra healing, and you'll definitely not regret your choice when you take these for your Restoration Shaman. And there you go, guys. That's all the gear I would recommend for your Restoration Shaman right here. Okay, so after all that gear, how much did our Shaman improve? Well, now that we have purpose-built healing gear, we have increased our bonus healing immensely. And self-buffed, so with our totems deployed, we've reached exactly 1,000 bonus healing with this current gear. We did hand in a fair bit of crit rating, but we traded that off for bonus healing and more MP5. And both those stats are much more beneficial to Restoration Shamans than crit, so I call that a good trade. So those stats are all fine and dandy, but how much can we heal with our spells with this gear? Well, let's check it out. So our lesser healing wave went from 1440 to 1780, our healing wave went from 3100 to 3450, and our chain heal went from 1700 to 2120. So we definitely have improved our healing capabilities by a significant amount. And combined with good stats and a lot of MP5, makes me believe that this Restoration Shaman will be able to keep the other party members alive no problem. And that's all for now folks. All we have left now is the Holy Paladin. So tune in next time for the final episode of Gearing for Dungeoneering, where we will talk about that class and spec combination. As always, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Hamster Wheel, and have a good one.